This is called Organic Life. Well, I have to tell you, it says a handbook for happy, healthy living. I have to tell you what the Bible says about nutrition. You, you, body temple maintenance is certainly important. But the kingdom of God is not meat nor drink. I said the kingdom of God is not what you eat. It's necessary to eat balanced nutritional products that you can replace what is burnt out in homeostasis. But if you think nutrition is the only basis for health and longevity, don't hold your breath. Because I can prove to you there are spiritual personality quirks that can kill you no matter how well you eat. And don't think exercise is your solution either. Because I know people who exercise and get plenty of exercise that die because of a spiritual defect and a personality quirk that took them out. But in today's world, in the, in the mentality of wellness center thinking, it's exercise and nutrition. And if that's right, at high expense, you may extend your life expectancy. Yes, it may help you in your life expectancy, but it will not cover the invisible part of you, which is the psychological and spiritual part of your existence. In fact, I'll give you what the Bible says. The kingdom of God is not meat nor drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. You know what's better for you than Again, nutrition is important. Don't you think I didn't say so? But I'll tell you, nutrition does not replace righteousness. It does not replace peace. And it does not replace joy in the Holy Ghost. So if you could add righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost with your regimen of fear eating, I'm sorry, nutrition, Because most and many people eat in fear. They study it. They wonder what's in it that's going to kill them. But they prayed for it, and then they wonder. If you prayed over your food, why would you wonder what's in it? Why did you bother praying? Your fear just negated your prayer. Come on now, work with me. I'm on your side. Concerning exercise. You may want to save the connective tissue of your joints. You don't need to run five miles a day. In fact, 50 minutes of rigorous exercise is max for cardiovascular maintenance. 15 minutes, enjoy. And you can do that through swimming, running, uh, a treadmill, a bike. You can jog in place. You can, you can not be sedentary. All, there's a lot of things go into exercise. I'm very active. I move a lot. I move around. I get my exercise. But what is good is it to exercise for one hour and then you sit on your butt for 23? Come on. Your body's going, what is this? But the bodily exercise, according to Scripture, profits little. I'm sorry to say what the, what the Bible said. It didn't say it didn't profit any. So be careful you don't misquote me. It says bodily exercise profits little. But I say unto you, that exercise in godliness is of great value. Are we exercising in godliness? Say, how do I exercise in godliness? Be people of faith, not fear. Be people of truth, not superstition. Be people of forgiveness, not unforgiveness. Love your God with all of your heart and your soul and your might. And love yourself as your neighbor. This is the foundation of life and the word.